What up, y'all? It's T-Chart. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer? My name? I am T-Wang the second. Today, play the game. Make sure I send like button. We are playing sensitive content? I'm sensitive. Okay. But I haven't done my intro yet, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the twisted spectacle that is our game show set in the 90s. Today, my dear visitors, we have a most intriguing... Ca but enough from me, let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, uh, where truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop of ice cream. Uh, good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun in game show. Wait, 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 who is this me? I can't read this fast. From the concrete city jungle from Dai. What? We have the enigmatic Richard Gravestone, a man from most legal. What is wrong with this game? I can't read this fast. Next up, straight from Canada? Are you joking, bro? This better not be me. Why have you just freaking tracked me? How did you know it? Hey, what? How did you know all that about me? And of course, our final contestant needs to introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London. Where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We have the inscrutable Edward Darkwood. Edgar Darkwood. A man. Why does this man have such a creepy voice? And there you have it. Okay, so who do we have? Chicago, New York, Edward, and Canada. Ready to do battle in the Serena. Okay, so uh, who wants me to meet in Ronka for guests? Why are you all in quotations? Are you a robot? Welcome to the first. Uh, have I put this? This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test, and every correct answer will swell your coffers a handsome 10 G. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the depths of the unknown, shall we? I'm not even clicking to skip. It's your turn, Twangy. Ready? Which psychological condition causes individuals to believe they are already dead? Posthumous aliphia. Stockholm syndrome. Quartered syndrome. Diogenes syndrome. Cabergrass syndrome. I would say Diogenes. And the answer is. Well, I'll cheat next time then. Quartered syndrome. Where the living being. Where the living believe. There, I was so interested in that! Time to shine, Richard. Questions here. In medieval Europe, what was the name given to the outbreak of the bubonic plague? The freaking Black Plague! Come on, bro. I mean, the Black Death. <laughs> I would have gotten it wrong. The Spanish flu, the red. It's Black Death. Scarlet Fever? That sounds like you're lovesick. What the frick is this? Actually, that is a thing, isn't it? The devastating bubonic plague outbreak in medieval it was black and leaving a trail of death and despair around the continent. Here we go, Sarah. Question time. Which ancient civilization believed in human sacrifice to appease the gods? The Egyptians? I don't know, actually. Did the Egyptians sacrifice? I don't think so. I don't think so. Romans? But Romans... Aztecs? Maybe Aztecs. I know it, Egyptians... There's no shot they sacrificed. Yeah, okay. I see. I, I got you back, Egyptians. The Aztecs mastered the most pyramid construction and human resources. Human resources made the most... Here, Edgar. Here's the question. Which ancient torture method involves tying a person to four horses and pulling them apart in ten different directions? The answers are... The four-man syndrome. Drawing and quartering. Impalement. It's not impalement. Quartering. Furlaying. It's probably quartering. Oh my god, Edgar. Don't speak anymore. He's like Sans. He freaking burped. Okay, so Sarah got it right. The rest of us got it wrong. What's gonna happen? Drawing and quartering. Where the only thing more torn is the victim's rule book of human decency. Okay, I, I don't know why you... Are, I don't know why it's this fast. And with that, we'll be taking a short break. But don't wander yet, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the mini game with the knife, of course. <laughs> Host, my dear contestants, we're off the air for now. But fear not, if you need anything, anything, you'll know where to find me. I need you to slow down the speed. Please don't keep me waiting too long. I can talk to him on the mandem. What can I? You piece of crap! This was an actual option. Okay, we're gonna keep the CRT effect. Pretend yeah, we have to. We have to get into the immersion. What's dithering? Oh! No, no, we'll take this. 
No, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. It's still old fashioned. Okay, let's talk to you because you got the most money. Undie? I, I don't know if I can do this, Twanky. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think. You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game. I don't even know you. This game might be tough, but we'll. But we'll get through it together. You really think so? Okay, Twanky, let's do. I don't want her to win, though. Why are you looking at me? It's like an anime opening playing in his head right now. With this knife game coming up, who knows what will happen. I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. Legit Megalovania gonna play. Ready for the knife game? Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. I can't talk to Sarah again. So, Twangy, are you ready to continue or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's get back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air and this time not on speed. Before we dive in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's Wish, an intense boss battle to... What, Snowden? To the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. What has this man just said? Now it's time for our first mini game of the evening where the contestants is courage we put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to add a little knife play. Here. Here are the rules. Contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. Oh, that freaking knife game like this? Okay. At the end of the timer, the contestant with the low score will be the first to face elimination. So you gotta go fast. Let the games begin. Oh, yes, baby. Dango, dango. Uh huh. Just. Ah. Uh. Ow. Uh. Ow. Uh. Ow. Sarah, you freaking lied to us. I don't remember this one who wants to be a millionaire. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for the first elimination. The unfortunate soul who'll be bidding us to do is none other than Sarah. Okay, here's my question. Let's see. What is the name of the infamous serial killer inspired the character in the Norman Battles of Psycho? Very easy. Jeffrey Dahmer. Who the frick is Onway Gacy? Psycho. Ted Bundy. Ed Gay. Well, Norman Bates. So think of someone who gives off that Norman Bates type B. John Wayne Gacy. Who the frick is that Gain? In medieval year, what was the name? Oh, you gave him the same question, huh? What is the name of the infamous female serial killer who bathed in the blood of virgins to maintain her youth? The answers are Bella. Bell got no. It's Aileen, 100% Aileen. She did it. Elizabeth Battery. Why would her name have Bat in it? That's why she did it. Elizabeth Battery, the Countess who put the blood in blood. I thought I turned off auto. It's the quartering. Okay, well, I'm about to get the bad ending again. We can skip all this. We have to get to the mini game. Edgar got it right this time. Oh, this is effed. I'm further than I was before. 
But I didn't get the question right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. He's going to get eliminated. I'm so sorry, bro. Rich. He can't really be dead, can he? Those screams and chills down my spine. Now the game truly begins. Frick, I didn't turn off the auto grab this time. Here we go. Let's continue with the show. Read fast, my dudes. We're diving straight into the second round of questions. Where the contestants is moral fiber we put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you 10 G's. So feel free to speak your mind and answer any without any inhibitions. Let's see how rise to the occasion. Yeah, I know. This is how the first round works. You don't have to freaking. You ready for some thought provoking questions, folks? And he only stares at me. Okay, Twangi, here's the question. You encounter a stranger offering you a mysterious potion with unknown effects. What do you do? I don't take it. You Accept eagerly. Ready for anything. Decline and warn others. Uh, well, I'm not going to warn them. Accept caution. Hoping for the best. Accept. Oh, accept cautiously. Hoping for the best. Politely refuse and report the encounter. What if to report it? Let him hustle. Except eagerly, ready for anything. Oh, interesting. I got 15,000 points for that? Ah, the elixir of uncertainty. Will you tempt fate or play it safe? Ah, Sarah, here's the question. You witness a stranger being harassed in public. What action do you take? The answers are... Alert the authorities as a witness. Ignore and walk away. Intervene to defend the stranger. Join in for some... So he offers you points based off the morality of your answer or something like that. Alert the authorities as a witness. Oh, interesting. How many points she get? She got 10 Gs. 50. She got the same amount. Well, maybe we just got it right. Edgar, your question awaits. Maybe there's only one right answer. You discover a hidden camera in, the, in your bedroom. How do you react? So our dad's infirm. The answers are... Report to authorities. Ignore it and care... Install additional security measures. Turn in, it into a crazy live stream. To do that one four. What does that even mean? Does everyone just get 15k? Big brother is always watching, but should you turn the tables and become the star of your own show? Alright, folks, that rocks up the second round of questions. Don't make me play the same knife game. And my my have we peeled back some layers. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal. The raw essence of each contestant. They've sized each other up and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned for this after the short break. We'll reveal the two finals of this twisted little game. And for you out there watching, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the Sega Studio audience for the next episode. There's always the need for fresh faces. It's like Squid Games. Season 2 is right here voting. I didn't sign up for this. The shadow deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need... So these two contestants from here are the ones with the most points. They got rid of freaking Richard who was sucky with me. All right, I need to turn the auto dialogue off. Okay, just don't break my game again. I can't believe I misjudged you. I thought you were better than... Wow, because of my answer? Fam, all it said was I'd take the freaking potion. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. In these parts, it's just two people. So it's why Gary ready to continue. Okay, what kind of game are we gonna play? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back into the news. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Oh, he's only talking to me. Before we dive in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission, a small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. And it's available at an incredible price of zero bucks. How'd that work? Okay, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestants with the most vote will be out. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants would be eliminated. So we have to group our votes. They're gonna freaking vote for me. No, they'd vote for each other because they have the most points, right? So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. I don't even know them. How am I supposed to judge this? All right, let's get down to it, Twango. You... Okay, let's use the previous question to our advantage. So Sarah would report to the authorities. This man would install additional security measures. Well, they're both doing the right thing. I don't even know what that means, install security measures. How, how, how am I supposed to use logic for this? I know Edgar's voting for me. Sarah might vote for Edgar. And so my best bet is to vote for Edgar. 
Nasir, who are you voting for? I need some time to think. I told you! I told you! Wait, that's not the bet I told you. What was the bet I told you? That Edgar would vote for me, but she did the best of the bet! And ready, and finally the champ, Edgar. All right, we have a winner, should I say it? Eliminate, it's you, Edgar, get out. That grinder? I don't know, it's like someone with a chainsaw down there. That's not very effective. Me and Sarah? She was shy, you thought she got kicked off fast. No, she's the finalist. All right, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of the show. That means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each trick to answer in this final round will earn you a whopping 25G. But enough chit chat, let's dive right into the news. Twangy, here's your moment. How long can a person survive without food or water under normal circumstances? Or freaking food or water? That's very different. One to two days or three to five days? Without water, you're effed. Isn't it like three days without water? Three weeks without food? What well, freak you? I want to cheat on this. Three days without water, three weeks without food. Isn't there another three? Three months without love. One to two days. I'm freaking effed. I, it has to be three. I, I swear you can not drink water for two days and be fine though. Not not fine, but you'll still be alive. Don't y'all forget to drink water a whole day? Not me, bro. I, I'm drinking right now. It's just I, I don't want to look it up. I, I have to really figure this out. Yes! <laughs> Due to five days, desperation sets in. Problem instance takes over as so survival becomes paramount. Sarah, your question awaits. Sarah, you're losing. Where's your pants, Sarah? How long does it typically take for a lethal dose of cyanide to cause death in humans? Second, like six seconds? The answers are one to two hours, 15 to 30 minutes, four to six hours, five to 10 minutes. She's F. She's F. None of these things are like the other. People die from cyanide. It's instant, right? Alright, it's either 5 to 10 minutes or the other minute option. I'll say... I'll say if the other minute option was less than 5 to 10, I'll say that. Okay! I mean, I was kind of right. I don't know what the, I don't know what the other one was. You know, I don't know what... Cyanide's deadly kiss, stealing breath with bitter almonds and sweet mortality. All right, folks, it's time for our last commercial break before the grand. My dudes, I beat the game. The two finals will engage in a duel. What the frick? Filled with throws and spills. A real blood. Is she Amelia Bloodbat? He's gonna turn to me again, my dear contestants. This is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope you're all ready. Hope you're all handy with the rifle. Yeah, bro, bro, I've been playing the dead space. Thank you for getting us this far, but we're afraid it's everyone for himself now. Okay. Sarah, you know, you did the best in the knife thing. I feel like you you acting with this whole shyness. Where's my freaking spotlight? I don't got a spotlight on me. Well, Twangy. I, I know someone who looks exactly like this in real life, I swear. It's time we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to face the final show? I need a moment to gather. I'm ready to start. Let's make sense. what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on here. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive in, how did I get in this situation? It must be a squid, squid game crap. Here's the last shopping tip. Astronomy. An astro an, a, a synchronous multiplayer where you can explore the universe, discover, and name over 10,000 constellations. And guess what? It's absolutely free. I mean, who's the fool paying us to promote these, right? Am I supposed to figure out what this means? Ladies and gentlemen, the Indian team finalists, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife minigame. In the second phase of questioning and in the voting, we probed the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. Yeah, but you didn't give me the option to vote for myself. To, to, for me to then be like, oh, I will sacrifice myself. I don't know these people. I don't even know why I'm here. In the final phase of questioning, we sir, we assessed whether you know the method of killing. 
Were both of our questions about death? No, mine was about survival. And if you've made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murders. There's just one final step to truly define yourself as such. Action. And so in this last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 30 seconds of time. I gotta shoot Sarah? Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience? Oh, that's after, bro. The audience just had to call the toll fee number. will be the new champion. Oh, this is effed! Why am I doing this? Why am I actually shooting them? Why are they... Why, why are you guys popping your head back out? Are you stupid? Why are you popping your... Sarah, you're not shooting anyone over there. Guys, stop ducking. Don't you want me to win? Yeah, there's no way Sarah has been murking people better than this. Sarah! I haven't shot anyone in years! Sarah. All right, folks, it's time. This man and his anime intro. It's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their unveiling ever. I'm about to be arrested, bro. Those freaking audience on Richard and Jimmy the Sands, their sides, they're happy right now. Now, the further our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none of the No, please don't do this. Don't do anything, I beg. Twangy. That's the last thing she hears. Twangy. And remember, this victory is just about the prize, it's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. Oh my god, she's Amelia the Bloodbat. And let's not forget the sweet intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... What, what the hell? Why is he... I'm done, my dudes. Make sure I shank that like button. This isn't me, guys. You gotta believe me. I'm not twangy the second. There's two more endings to this. Is it really worth playing this again to find them? If y'all enjoyed, let me know in the comments. Shank the like button. Don't, don't shank anything. No, don't learn anything from this video. Don't do what they did. It's, was he always on the TV screen? I feel like he's haunting me now. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.